so it's really hot today i feel like i am melting i can't even turn my fan on or else it's going to be too noisy for you guys so i just want to really quickly film this video so hello everyone welcome back to another one of my videos so this is a video i have wanted to film for quite a while but I've had a backlog of videos that I wanted to film slash needed to film over the last couple of months um had some issues with my internet at the start of the year and I wasn't able to upload videos so since then I've just had like a backlog of videos and yeah today I'm finally getting around to filming a hamster update so in this video I will be covering all things hamster. I'll talk about my current hamster, um, what happened to one of my other hamsters, um, also my business as well because I have an online pet supply store called Tiny Paws and Co. And yeah, so there's also a couple of questions I'm going to answer in this video. Um, I asked you guys over on Instagram probably last month to leave some questions that I can answer in this video and um, I had like one or two questions in one of my previous hamster videos and I thought I would just answer them here in one video. So if if someone answers a question I can just direct them to this video so where to start so you might have noticed I don't have a cage behind me anymore um so I used to have the living well eco habitat cage on the floor I don't remember how long I've had it for but a very long time I had it for years and then above me which you might be able to see is the IKEA D12 so I did have a little hamster called Penelope living in the living world cage and if you guys didn't know I actually work in a pet shop i've been there for over a year now which is crazy it's gone so quick and my live in wild cage had been sitting empty for the last couple of years because i think the last hamster i had in there was it could have been pumpkin or maybe it was pumpkin the little roboroski hamster i think was the last hamster i actually had in that cage and that was quite a few years ago um so i thought i have a spare cage and this hamster really needs a home and i can give her a loving home so that's what i did so i got penelope from work and the hamsters from the pet shop i work in actually come from a really nice breeder so it's a place called essex breeding center however last year they recently changed over to some different people but the practice is still pretty much the same but the name is different i can't remember what it's called now but yeah the hamsters and the small animals are of really good quality and they're handled really well so i got penelope last may and from the day i got her she was such a a noisy hamster and having Penelope kind of reminded me why I always said to myself I'm never getting a Syrian hamster ever again so before Penelope I've had two Syrian hamsters my first two hamsters are Oreo and then I had Isabella and I just find Syrians to be incredibly needy they're very friendly and they love human attention and they just I the hamsters I've had the Syrian hamsters I've had they always want to be outside of the cage and if I want to be in their cage and no matter how many toys you give them or no matter how amazing the cage is set up they just want to be out of that cage and that's the issue I had with Penelope and it got to the stage where she was literally biting the cage in the middle of the night early hours of the morning and I was really struggling to sleep and I did put up with it for a very 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 long time because you know Penelope was my hamster she's my responsibility and I've had hamsters for ages years and I've taken care of them from the day I've got them to the day they've died but with like my current situation where now I'm working full-time and working five days a week I do really long hours and I'm up really early I get up for work at 6 a.m I don't get home until about 6 and then I usually get into bed around about 9 once I've done everything for the evening um I get into bed quite early and then I end up falling asleep because I'm so tired and then Penelope would wake up because obviously hamsters are nocturnal and then she would start chew in the cage and yeah it was really 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 frustrating and yeah so not only was I working full time and I just didn't have as much time to spend with her as I had done with like previous hamsters in the past. I have another hamster, a uh, Russian dwarf named Bluebell. I will talk about her a little bit later on in this video and I've also got a cat now. I've had Bella for almost a year now, which is crazy. I got her July the 31st, 2022, and she is my little baby. She's actually, I think she's in the living room. And yeah, so it was just getting a little bit much having three animals in my room. And my room is quite small, it's not a big room. So on my mind for quite a few months, I had been thinking of rehoming her, but I just felt really bad and really guilty about it because I've never had to rehome a hamster before. And then it just got to the point where I was sort of like, I need to, 
find Penelope a new home because I just can't deal with her chewing in the cage at 3 a.m. in the morning. It was keeping me up, it was keeping Bella up and if you're wondering how my cat is with the hamsters, she's actually quite good with the hamsters and because Penelope was on the floor she could actually see Bella and Bella could obviously see Penelope but they actually got on really well. They would just sniff each other at the air hole every night and sometimes Bella would lie on top of the cage and Penelope had no issue with her. She just continued life as usual as if Bella wasn't even there and there's no way that Bella can actually get into my hamster cages they're very secure and they both have really heavy lids so I decided to advertise for Penelope to be rehomed uh what site did I use I think it might be Pets for Homes if I'm correct um and Pets for Homes and what is the name of the other one um pre-loved yeah pre-loved is where i actually got um bluebell from i think so those are two really good sites if you're looking to either buy an animal or if you're looking to put an animal up for adoption sort of thing um those are really good websites so what i did was i posted a couple of pictures of penelope i posted some pictures of her cage and ideally i wanted someone to take penelope along with her cage and her will and a few other bits and bobs i didn't just want someone to take penelope and shove her in a tiny little cage like i actually wanted her to go to a good home so I put a little advertisement up and this lady got in contact with me she was really nice and she said she wanted Penelope for her disabled daughter and um, they've had hamsters in the past and their last hamster was actually from the same place Penelope was from and um, it all happened very quickly and she said she would happily um, have Penelope the following day so what I did was I cleaned out her cage in the middle of the night spent hours sorting it out I put her in a little temporary cage and then after work my friend Brandon was going to pick me up in his van but then the lady ended up saying that she no longer wanted Penelope so that was really frustrating because I had cleaned out her cage and she was in this little temporary cage and I was like well what am I going to do now I can't just set up her cage again and then when I got home I received a message from this lovely lady and she said she was interested in Penelope and she was happy to come and pick her up the next day so yeah that's what happened the lady came round with her boyfriend they were both so 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 lovely and this lady actually works from home like I used to so she's able to spend a lot more time with Penelope and yeah I'm really 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 happy that Penelope has gone to such a wonderful home and I don't feel so guilty about rehoming her and um yeah so that's basically what happened to Penelope. I have actually mentioned this story in the past maybe like a month or two ago in one of my vlogs but obviously some of you guys just like to watch my hamster content and you wouldn't have necessarily seen me talk about it in a vlog. So now I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple of questions um, that you guys asked me over on Instagram. So the first question is Syrians or dwarfs? And dwarfs all the way. Dwarfs are my favourite type of hamster. I just think they are so cute and they're so tiny. Dwarfs can be a little bit temperamental um, but you can get some dwarfs that are very sweet, incredibly sweet. Then you just get some that are just aggressive like Bluebell. I've never been able to tame her. She's just wild. And that was another thing when I got Penelope. I forgot how clingy Syrian hamsters were because I was so used to Bluebell being so antisocial. She doesn't like human interaction. She does her own little thing. She's never bored. She's always running around and I pretty much just feed her and give her water and she does her own thing. I just sort of leave her to it. So the next question is, there's actually two questions that I will answer at the same time. So the first one says, how's Bluebell doing? And the second one is, how's Bluebell? I know she's old now. So Bluebell is my Russian dwarf hamster. I've had her since when did I get her? I think it was around about summer 2020 and we are now in 2023. So she is around about three years old, which is crazy. She's very old, um, but she's doing really well. She's my longest living hamster and um, she's doing amazing. She still runs around in her cage. She's still eating okay. She's still feisty. Occasionally she runs on her wheel. She has lost a little bit of weight. She's not as she's not as plump as she used to be. And um, the next question is, um, will you be getting another hamster? So I would like to get another hamster. Once Bluebell passes away, I don't think I'm going to get another hamster straight away because my life is just so busy at the moment. Work takes up a lot of my time. Bella takes up a lot of my time. She's a very clingy little cat. It's like having a little toddler. Ragdolls are very dog-like cats. If you're familiar with the breed, then you would know this. They're very clingy and they want to always be in the same room as you 
and they follow you around and yeah they just want to be near you most of the time and um yeah bella does take up a lot of my time we spend a lot of time together and i do enjoy spending time with her and i have had hamsters for eight years like i like i said i've had a lot of hamsters oreo isabella cupcake cashmere pumpkin loki and then I think I got Bluebell, oh, and then Penelope. So I've had like eight hamsters. So once Bluebell passes away, I won't get a hamster straight away, but I would love another hamster in the future. So I'll get a dwarf hamster, either a Russian dwarf, or I would like a Chinese hamster. We actually sell them at work. I do have quite a lot of cage accessories and stuff for hamsters. I have a lot. I've collected loads over the last eight years. I have quite a big collection. I do still like hamsters, even though I don't make hamster videos anymore. I just don't have as much free time as I used to, to be able to dedicate spending time as being part of the hamster community and all of that kind of stuff that I used to love being a part of many many years ago but in the last couple of years life has just been too busy and there's only so much that I'm able to keep up with and dedicate my time towards and then I think there's one more question so someone actually left a comment on my youtube video asking about my shop but i also got this question on instagram saying are you still running your etsy hamster shop so um if you didn't know i have a online pet supply store called tiny paws and co it was originally called tiny hamster paws so i signed off selling monthly subscription boxes and then i thought it would be quite nice to sell individual items so i had like the subscription box side and then i had the pet store side where you could buy treats toy cage accessories and then i had a tiny paws bakery where i had like handmade treats and stuff and then about two years ago I changed the name and um, the logo to Tiny Paws and Co. The logo is amazing. I thought I would change the name so that it sounded a bit more like a general pet store name rather than Tiny Hamster Paws because then it seems like I just do stuff for hamsters but I actually did stuff for other small animals as well and this probably won't ever happen but I always thought it would be nice to have like my own little independent pet store um, and I thought Tiny Paws and Co sounds like a pretty good name so Tiny Paws and Company or Tiny Paws and Co for sure and yeah so I thought even in the future if I wanted to expand to you know cats and dogs because you can't just have a pet store dedicated to um, small animals like a physical pet store so you never know in the future that could happen but that's not on my list of things for the future so with my online store it's actually temporarily closed it's not gone forever um i do still have some stock which i will show you guys i just remembered in my head when i was thinking about what i'm going to do for this video um i remember telling myself a couple of weeks ago i'll show you guys what products i actually have left so i closed my store i think it might be like last autumn it was just too much for me to manage my shop along with working full time so i did have time to make any new like uh treats or um chew toys and all of that kind of stuff and my shop was doing really well i was getting a decent amount of orders like some weeks i could have like 50 to 100 orders um yeah like my shop was really busy and to be honest i couldn't really meet the demand that was out there i was running my shop from my room my room is tiny so i don't have a lot of space and that was another thing that was sort of limiting me as well so yeah everything got a little bit too much for me so i temporarily really closed my store at the end of the year i do plan on opening up my shop again one day i was thinking maybe like at the start of this year um i would have caught up on things and opened up my shop but it's just life has just been too busy um so yeah it's not it's not gone forever it's just temporarily shut until i find the time to reopen it again or what i might do in the future is just do little uh what do you call it? like shop drop kind of things so i'll have my shop closed and then i'll open it like once i've restocked and then close it again and just do like restocks that's something i might do and i do still have people ask me about my shop which is really nice because some people generally do miss buying stuff on my shop so thank you to everyone who has actually supported my shop over the years it's been amazing i didn't think anyone would ever buy anything from my shop and i've sent thousands and thousands and thousands of orders out all over the world so i think that's all the questions i'm going to answer in this video because it's already pretty long and also my sd card is going to run out of space um but i'll quickly go ahead and sh briefly show you guys bluebell's cage her cage is a mess don't judge me um it does need to be cleaned out but because she's quite old i'm not too sure how long she has left so i don't really want to disturb her by sort of moving her cage around so i'm just going to leave it as it is and yeah so I'll, I'll show you guys anyway so this is bluebell's cage it is quite a big cage and um i've got two lids that just lift off 
like that and yeah so this is what her cage looks like at the moment she's got a really nice natural theme because I only really do natural themes now and yeah there's quite a bit going on in here I've actually got some of these wooden pieces from work so I got this long bit there finally got a cork cloth and then I also got this wooden bit from work as well this hanging garland here is what I made and used to sell on my shop and there's also a little hanging chew there and then also these cage thermometers which I used to sell on my shop as well but I need to replace the battery for that and her little name sticker from Furnishables. So, oh, she's actually sleeping in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see her, but she's actually she's actually sleeping right there at the moment. So her will is from Pets at Home, but I really want to get my hands on the small Night Angel will. Um, because the Night Angel wills are such good quality. And then down here is where Penelope's cage used to be. And normally I have a bunch of Bella's toys on the floor, but I've sort of tidied them up. She has a little ping pong ball there and some food dishes and um yeah so that's what this area is looking like at the moment in these drawers is where i have the stuff in my shop so it's a little bit messy because i used to have like all stock in this drawer like um i can't remember what i even had in here to be honest with you um but now i've just got all the supplies that i use to like make stuff in here it's all like shoved in this drawer so these are all the dishes i have left i've got this chew toy and this chew toy I think those are like the only two and then in the second drawer I've got this cat toy because it doesn't fit under my bed in her cat basket and I've just got some other treats here like some whimsy and this drawer is where I used to store all of my chew toys like the ones that I had made um but now it's filled with cat stuff and might be a bit crazy but I actually keep Bella's fur so I brush her every day because she molts like crazy um, I actually keep her fur. You can actually do stuff with cat fur. So I've got all her brushes here. I have little bits and bobs there, leads and harnesses, um, all of Bella's treats. And then I've got all of my hamster treats here. I did recently film a video going through all of my hamsters. Um, no, what was it? A hamster haul, I think it was. So I showed you guys like treats and toys. So I've got some treats in here. I ended up putting the whimsies into this pack here. And yeah, so this is all treats. And then these are my jars which you guys have seen so many times so at the front I've just got like some cat treats in here and then in this one I've got some food so this is just um the extra bit of food I've got two jars of food in it so there's another jar there which is full but I couldn't put it in one jar so this is the what is the brand um the Vitacraft so this is the Vitacraft menu food and yeah it seems okay and then I've just got this um forage mix which I got from work and there's actually quite a bit more in this jar um it filled the jar up more than I thought it would because the packet looks like tiny and then I've got this parsley and apple forage thing from Pets at Home and um these sort of things are really nice to use as cage toppers to sort of sprinkle around the cage so they can forage for it so yeah that's everything that's going on in this drawer so i think that is everything i have to share with you guys this video <laughs> is actually a lot longer than i thought it would be hopefully when i edit it i can cut it down a bit and um yeah fingers crossed i've answered any questions that you guys might have had about like my current hamster situation if i want more hamsters in the future what happened to penelope where's her cage gone what's going on with my shop i do hope i've answered your questions and yeah i i wish i could film more hamster videos but i don't really have much hamster content to be able to film at the moment because i'm not doing any like cage clean so i haven't got any like cage tours to do and now i've only got one cage as well so it sort of limits the amount of stuff i can do i'm not really buying any hamster products to warrant doing like hamster hauls and all of that kind of stuff and um yeah so maybe in the future i will be able to do a lot more hamster videos again but for now i'm quite sort of limited um as to what type of hamster videos i can film because i'm very short of time but i am but i am trying to put out a bit more hamster content so you guys might have noticed that i've posted a couple of hamster videos this year or maybe i've posted like one or two i think or maybe just one um, i can't keep up honestly because i do lifestyle vlogs i do cat videos now which are doing really well and then obviously i'm like trying to do hamster videos so there's a couple of different genres going on and at the same time as trying to do youtube i'm trying to be a bit more active on my personal instagram which is just my name i'm also working full time there's there's a lot going on um and yeah i think i can hit bella at the door and uh here's my little cat 
you haven't seen her before, she's a little bit sleepy at the moment because this is the time of day where she just sleeps, isn't it Bella? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye for now.